Hi everybody. So today we are still working with area and we are working on area of a composite figure. Composite means taking one thing and adding it to another. So like in this instance, we took one rectangle and we've added it to another rectangle. But we need to find the area of it. So the best way to do that is to divide it into more rectangles and then just add up all of the areas together. So I want to go through, through a quick lesson on how we would do that. If you have um, a shape that looks like this, and the question says find the area, or what is the area of the shape, well, we're going to need to figure out the area. So the best way to do that is say, okay, how can I split this into rectangles? Because I know how to find the area of a rectangle. That would be area equals length times width of a rectangle. So I can do that. I know that formula. So if I look at this, I can say, okay, well, right here is a logical place for me to split this apart into two rectangles. So now I have this large rectangle and I have this small rectangle, <clears throat> but I don't know all of my side pieces. So I need to think, what information do I have? Well, if I look down here at the bottom, I know my large rectangle has a width of six. And we're gonna call this six units. So that's the same as saying I have Forgive me because my squares are not the same. But I have six units down here on the bottom. That's what this says. Okay? So if I have six at the bottom, that means that I'm going to have six at the top as well. Right? So this number 10 that I have, well, I need to do 10 minus six, and if I do that, I can find out this length from here to here. So what's 10 minus six? Well, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 minus six is four. So the length of this one is four units. All right, everybody with me so far? I subtracted my length from the length of this big long side to get this short one. Okay, all right. So now I know that I have a length of six here and I have four and this is a rectangle so each side is the same length. This one is also four. So that means that this side is four, but this is five. So if I want to add up this entire length right here, I need to add 4 plus 5. Well, 4 plus 5 equals 9 units. So this side length equals 9. So now I have all of the numbers I need to find area. <clears throat> Let's find area of the small one. We're going to make that A. And then we'll find the area of the big rectangle, B. So the area of rectangle A, we know area equals length, which is four, right? I'm four units long, times width, which is also four, right? Width. So four times four is 16 square units. So rectangle A is 16 square units. How about rectangle B? What do I know? Well, I know area equals length times width. So my length is six units. My width here is nine units. What's six times nine? Uh, six times 10 is 60. Minus 6 would be 6 times 9. So that is 60 minus 6 is 54. So this one is 54 square units. So now what do I do? To find the area of this entire shape, I need to add 
together my two areas. So I'm going to have 54 plus 16. 4 and 6 is 10. Put down my 0, carry my 1. I have 5, 6, 7. So my area of this figure equals 70 square units. This is my answer. 70 square units. So today in math, you're going to be doing several of these. Some of them have some of the squares in them. Some of them don't. Just remember, you are finding the area of the total shape on every single figure today. The total shape. If you run into any hiccups, you need some assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am here to help. All right. Enjoy. Have fun with this.